Good morning everyone this is Ada Kangsha today my video is on nouns nouns a very easy topic no you people are thinking so but this video is a bit special because this video is not for the elder ones this video is for younger ones the children those who are in class 1 2 and 3 because i just miss being a little kid with no stress worries or care in the world so i thought to make one video for the smaller ones also uh, so that they they also feel very attracted towards the things or towards the studies only in a different manner so it's just a small effort by me which i have made for them here i'm going to start with my video nouns A noun is a name of a person, animal, place, or thing. Everything has a name. Whether we are talking about a person, whether we are talking about an animal, whether we are talking about a place or a thing, everything has its own name. So that very name is known as noun. For example, what is your name? If I say my name is Akanksha and I'm I'm asking the same question to you, what is your name? okay your particular name you have your own name so that name is a noun everything has a name like any animal dog cat lion tiger place any place name delhi ambala so any name is there of a place or any thing name table chair pen pencil eraser whatsoever it is so every noun has its name and that is known as a noun a noun is a name of a person animal place or thing here are few examples ravi took the dog to the park so in this sentence i have a noun ravi dog park there is a book on the desk book and desk look at this fine new x x is a noun dinosaurs lived millions of years ago dinosaurs i like this beautiful flowers flowers jo is my cousin jo and cousin there are no markers in the box markers and box i am repeating all the nouns again ravi dog park book desk x dinosaurs flowers jaw cousin markers box the words which are in red all are nouns now you can see here that uh, kinds of nouns we have there are many kinds of nouns but in this video i'm just covering few which you are able to understand very easily and which are uh, important also common noun singular noun proper noun plural nouns countable nouns and uncountable nouns common and proper nouns common noun as the name suggests that common a common noun is a name given in in common to every person or the thing or the same kind or class for example if i say there are many people okay or there are, there are children in the class so children i am not specifying specify any child over there i am saying children are there in the class there are teachers standing over there teachers children people i am not specif specifying any of the kind but everything has its a common name so that particular common name is common noun for examples boy girl cat teacher chair table pen pencil you don't have any particular name of your pencil or a pen or a chair or a table if you have your study table okay you don't have any name of your study table you are not keeping any name if you are possessive then only you will keep okay otherwise you will not keep for example you have a doll girls have a doll right so you will keep a name to your doll when you are very much possessive towards it 
when you love your doll a lot otherwise every doll is a doll we are going to market and we are saying to a shopkeeper i want a doll then you will not say i want this or that doll fine so doll is doll which doesn't have any particular name that is common nouns next proper noun a proper noun is the name of some particular person or place when you have a name of anything particular you have a particular name for example your name you are particular then right particular name particular place particular thing that is a proper noun and the very first thing which you have to keep in your mind when you are writing proper noun the first letter all this be capital as your teacher says that if you are writing your name if you are writing name of a city if you are writing your parents name first letter always be capital for example i have written over here delhi mumbai sonia rajiv redford india gate so first letter you can see over here is capital now it's time to play it's play for today there is one activity for you uh, you can take help of your mother also here are the cards which are different in color that by mistake i have, what i did it is that i have mixed up the following word cards now you have to separate them and put them in the right box proper nouns and the common nouns you have to segregate out of it will you be able to do so yes i know that you people are very intelligent and you will be able to solve it if still you have any problem you can take any you can take uh, any kind of help uh, from your parents and you can see also like these exercises for common and proper noun which i have just taught you now so you can look there also revise it and then do now next we have nouns singular and plural nouns we know okay now now we have singular also and plural also singular means singular one okay the things which are one a number only one i have one pencil only in my box i have one pen if the things the things which you have only one that is singular when a noun names only one person one place one animal or one thing that is singular nouns for example you can see here one clock one doll one apple so only one 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 that is singular that is singular now plural when a noun names more than one now see pictures everything is more than one more than one book so books are two more than one color pencil so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so total 12 pencils are there color pencils then there is one picture but in this picture we have how many children do we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 including doraemon okay if we will not include doraemon then we have four children now here are rules for singular and plural when we have to change singular into plural like today i have one apple but tomorrow might be i i am i will be having two apples so i have to add es or i have to add s this this is according to the nouns whether we have to use s whether we have to use es whether we have to use ies what we have to put this i'm going to teach you now rule 1 we add an s to singular nouns to make them plural for example apple apples table tables doctor and car i have not written here are the question marks so you have to solve it on your own but you have to put after noun now write s for singular and p for plural nouns this is your homework you can see that this one girl is sitting and she is doing 
her homework so in a same manner you also have to do your homework what you have to do is here are the nouns so if the noun is singular you will put s if the noun is plural you will put p it's very easy rule 2 says we at es now in previous slide we we put only s now in this slide es to singular nouns that end with if a singular noun end with s s s c h x or o to make them plural we have to put es examples bus buses gas you do it yourself class classes brush brushes match matches branch do it yourself box boxes so you can see over here es 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 and es x box es c h es s h es double s es single s es do according to it now here is one more assignment as you know that practice makes a man perfect so i want to make you all perfect so i have one i have just added one exercise for you which is very easy singular and plural dash right plural of dash here kisses singular of kisses mango plural of mango then watches singular of watches and box plural of box you have to write Now rule three says that for singular nouns ending with if a singular nouns ending with f or f e that we have to change into v e s for example leaf leaves in place of f v e s calf calves thief thieves knife knives wife wives now repeat after me leaf leaves calf calves thief thieves knife knives wife wives it's very easy rule 4 rule 4 says that for singular nouns which are ending with y that has to be changed into i e s for example baby babies story stories candy candies mummy mummies so in place of y i e s one more activity take the correct plural noun for each word cherry cherries cherries so which one is correct i know you know very well which one is correct so do it properly tray trays trays whether y s will come or i e s comes half halves which one f s or v e s life lives or lives this you have to see exceptions are always there like roof roofs boy boys will not write b o i e s chief chiefs toy toys rule 5 we make special changes of to the spellings of some singular nouns to make them plural the complete spelling you have to change for example singular men men tooth teeth foot feet mouse mice goose geese child children repeat after me men men tooth teeth foot feet mouse mice goose geese child children speak aloud now men men tooth teeth foot feet mouse mice goose geese child children now next we have countable and uncountable nouns countable says the things which we can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 uncountable says the things which we cannot count examples of countable books we can count 
pencils we can count tables we can count chairs we can count boys we can count girls we can count after every noun we have s uncountable nouns that we cannot count impossible to count for example if i'll say to you count your milk will you be able to count no if i say count your hair it is just impossible to count water tea love you love your parents but you can't count your love towards your parents it's impossible right my friendship is very strong or uh, i have a good friendship with my friend so that friendship you cannot count you can express it but you can you cannot count you know that how much strong feelings you have for anyone but that you can't count it so that is uncountable nouns one and the last exercise of today's that is separate the countables from uncountables so this is the mixture of both here you have countables or uncountables also which you have to segregate according to you and uh, i hope you will be able to solve it air oil light room honey book sugar rice hair and flour so do it thank you my little friends i hope you liked it a lot and if you want me to make few more videos for you people don't forget to press the bell icon this is the bell icon you can see over here this you need to press it because if i'll make few more videos for you you will be able to get the notification and your parents will easily get to know about my new videos and it will surely gonna to help you thank you be safe stay at your home and revise your grammar with me thank you and have a nice day